only 36 high school football teams remain in the Arkansas playoffs. I'm Leland Barclay and I'm at the River Valley Democrat Gazette offices in historic downtown Fort Smith. This is the River Valley Sports Report brought to you by the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette and sponsored by Ashley Air. Thanksgiving is probably my favorite holiday. I mean, sure, everybody likes Christmas. Easter is very significant. July the 4th or Independence Day is important. I also like Veterans Day and Memorial Day. But for high school football teams that are practicing on Thanksgiving, that's a real treat and officially marks a great season. Unfortunately, only three River Valley football teams will be practicing on Thursday on Thanksgiving morning. The Greenwood Bulldogs rolled into the Class 6A semifinals with their third straight shutout in a 42 to nothing win over Mountain Home in a game covered by Walter Woody on Friday night. The Bulldogs gave up just 151 yards and 10 first downs. Colin Daggett had an interception and the Bulldogs had nine tackles for loss. Offensively, Hunter Houston threw for 359 yards and four touchdowns. Slade Dean also threw a touchdown pass as the two combined for 404 passing yards. The Lamar Warriors won their second straight one-point game in the Class 4A playoffs with a 24-23 win at Prairie Grove in a game covered by Graham Thomas. With two minutes, 36 seconds left, Damian Hendricks scored on a three-yard run. Lamar lined up for the two-point conversion, drew Prairie Grove off sides, and Hendricks ran for the two points and the win. Prairie Grove scored twice in the first quarter and led 14 to nothing. Over the final three quarters, though, Lamar's ground-pounding offense had 56 plays to Prairie Grove's 18. The Boonville Bearcats had no problems against Manila, rolling to a 42 to nothing win in the Class 3A playoffs. Dax Goff had 77 yards and two scores, and Rocky Ross had 76 yards and a touchdown. Five plays into the third quarter, Goff scored on a 16-yard run to invoke the Arkansas Activities Association sportsmanship rule with a 35-0 lead. Also on Friday, Northside, Ozark, Charleston, Paris, and Cedarville all lost in their playoff games, but congratulations to those teams on a fantastic season. That's going to take us to halftime of the River Valley Report. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsor, Ashley Air with Gimme 5, a look at the playoff brackets, and the games we'll be covering on Friday night. The Martins came over, we were having spaghetti, when we suddenly noticed that we started getting sweaty as the temperature approached 90 degrees. My buddy said, man, you gotta call Ashley. AshleyAir.com When your air conditioner breaks, they're the one you want. AshleyAir.com They're fast and they're good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. Got it fixed right and fast. He was on his way. When your air conditioner breaks, you know who to call. There's only one choice. Actuallyair.com. Give me five. Here are the top five performances from last week. Number one, Boonville's defense shut out Manila 42 to nothing, allowing just 42 yards on 24 plays. After gaining 591 yards on the ground last week. Manella was limited to just the 42 yards on Friday. Number two, Greenwood's defense recorded its third straight shutout in a 42 to nothing win over Mountain Home. It marks the first time since 2002 for the Bulldogs to shut out three straight opponents. Number three, Lamar advanced in the Class 4A playoffs with a 24-23 win at Prairie Grove with their second straight one-point win. Number four, the Southside Mavericks and Lady Mavs opened their sparkling new gymnasium last week with a doubleheader sweep of Mansfield. The Mavericks won 75-48, and the Lady Mavs were victorious 60-43. In between games, some of the best players to put on Southside basketball jerseys, as well as heralded coaches, were honored as Southside opened what they're now calling the barn. Number five, the County Line Indians defeated Mansfield 63-48 on Friday for their 12th straight win here in the early basketball season. Let's take a look at the playoff brackets. In 7A, the semifinals are set with Fayetteville hosting Conway and Bryant hosting North Rock. In 6A, Greenwood will host Little Rock Parkview in one semifinal on Friday night 
with El Dorado hosting Marion in the other. In Class 5A, Little Rock Christian travels to Whitehall and Pulaski Academy to Greenbrier in the semifinals. In Class 4A, Lamar travels to Pulaski Robinson on Friday. And in 3A, Boonville is at home on Friday in the quarterfinals of the playoffs. If you are not a subscriber to the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, you should join our team because you missed last week's River Valley Report. You're missing the playoff scores and the playoff schedules put together by Mickey Doyle each week, as well as the most comprehensive stats in the state on Thursday compiled by Eric Taylor. Basketball season has started and so is wrestling and bowling, so there's plenty of action going on at your local high schools. Get out and support these local area student athletes. Take a look at some of the photos by the award-winning Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette photographers. They can be seen and purchased on our website at nwaonline.com photo. So be sure to check those out online or in the digital edition of the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette. If you are not a subscriber to the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, you can join our team by subscribing online at nwaonline.com and click the subscribe button or by calling our customer service line at 479-684-5509. That's going to wrap up this week's River Valley Sports Report, sponsored by Ashley Air. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and God bless you.